Sean, consciousness has been one of my focuses of life. Uh, my doctor's in neuroscience because I wanted to try to understand consciousness. Of course, one had very little to do with the other at that point, uh, but I've continued to, to focus on it as, as perhaps the, the uh, key to, under, to really understand reality. Now, you may disagree with that. I know you're a radical physicalist. So how do you deal with consciousness? I think that consciousness mm -hmm. is a way of talking about mm -hmm. the physical world, just like many other ways of talking. It's an, one of these emergent phenomena that we find is a useful way of packaging reality. So we say that someone is conscious mm -hmm. of something that corresponds to certain physical actions in, in the real world. I don't think that there is any Thing special about mental properties. I don't think there's any special mental realm of existence. I think it's all the physical world in all the manifold ways we have of describing it. Okay, uh, give me another example of an emergent phenomenon. Well, the classic example of an emergent phenomenon is the fluid description of the air around us. The fact that even though it's made of discrete mm. particles, okay. atoms and molecules, we talk about it as a continuum with a pressure and a temperature and stuff like okay. that. It's a, it's a macroscopic, coarse-grained view. Great example. The wetness of water would be something exactly. uh, similar. Okay. Now, uh, I would believe uh, that uh, consciousness is a qualitatively different from that because there is a um, th there is something that is like to have the feelings the, that I'm seeing. You call it an internal movie, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. That the phenomenology of 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 this is is a a a, a radical difference from the getting the wetness of water from individual molecules or the fluidity of air. Right. And you must disagree with that. I do disagree with that. Uh, I think there is this, there's an irreducibility, but it's not in the reality, it's in how people talk to each other about it. I, I, and I, it, there's, there's something that... But you see it, you live it, you of feel course, it. Of course, that's right. And, and I can you, that, describe it in physical terms perfectly well. When, when you say, like, how, I how now have you? experienced the uh, redness of red... I think that that is a set of words that can be mapped on in a very direct way to certain physical things happening in my brain. Oh, nobody doubts that. There's there are no people who doubt that, but yes, many people do not doubt okay. that. And I think that's all there is. At least, it is at least, among, at least among my friends, nobody doubts that. You know, when you talk about the existence of a cat, you know, this is, this is a category that is not to be found in the fundamental laws of physics. A cat, a game of basketball is not to be found. <clears throat> These are useful categories for describing the world. I think that consciousness, self-awareness, experience, inner subjectivity, very useful categories for describing the world. Now, but you know, some physicists uh, see consciousness as uh, sitting below uh, the, the wave function, not just That's part right. of the wave, but actually sitting below it as the most fundamental thing. In some so, physicists in some deny global warming. I mean, I think it's, <laughs> some physicists, it's not a very good beginning to almost any oh, sentence. Okay, all right, all right. I, I accept that. Um, so, but, but, but with, with consciousness, you're... Uh, one philosopher has said that consciousness uh, is an output of the brain like urine is the output of the kidneys. Is that something you would subscribe to? It's, uh, no, I don't, I, I'm not sure I would use that exact metaphor. I mean, again, I think it's a very, very useful construct at a higher level of description, right? I can't imagine doing without consciousness as a way of talking about the world. I know what it means when people say, I'm conscious of this. I know what it's like to be that. These, these are real ways of describing the underlying When you're saying I'm reality. conscious of it, that's sort of a, 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 a an English locution that means I'm aware of something, but you could you could uh, almost be conscious or aware of something in a in a in a in a, in a mechanical or zombie like way in in terms of behavioral reaction. But I'm talking about this this the phenomena that we all right. feel seems so radically different from anything that you see in the brain. I mean, I dealt with that. You do with the, the probing of electrodes and electrochemistry and uh, and the genetic expressions. Do you believe that the 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 phenomenon phenomenology of what we see is in an identical theory sense two descriptions like uh, the morning star and the evening star is is the same yes that's right is venus is the same thing i'm just call it by different reasons because i didn't know that they were the same absolutely and i think that actually to me zombies the idea of the philosophical zombie something that acts in exactly the same way as a <clears> conscious <throat> creature but just lacks the consciousness, lacks that inner subjective experience, is a great argument for my position in the sense that 
it's very hard to really take self-consistently this idea of a philosophical zombie because if you met a zombie you ask them what are you experiencing right, right now they would tell you exactly, exactly the same, same thing, thing right. that a regular person would say right. and, and you say well at least i know i'm not a zombie do you really know that of course you're telling yourself you're not a zombie you're experiencing but so would a zombie a zombie would say they're not a zombie i think that there's really no way of boiling that thought experiment down to a consistent holding of the idea there could be something that physically acts exactly like me yet lacks this important well, the element of the zombie would say that i'm not a zombie and describe the inner feelings but still would, would still be a zombie that 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 is the that is the proposal <laughs> and i am just pointing out how how silly it begins okay. to sound because they would be sincere okay. look i think they anything they really think they're experiencing oh. it <laughs> they would really say Why would that they lie? it it would be it, it's a sort of a behavioral reaction it'll it, it's sort of an input output that's right and the difference between me and someone who thinks that there is something phenomenologically different about right. consciousness is that that is all there is so an implication of your view i i think is that you have to be 100% sure that at some uh, time in the future with future technologies, some people would say 20 or 100 years, some people may say 1,000 years, you would be able to upload your individual first-person consciousness to uh, a, a, another medium, whether it's non-biological, another person. You, you would have to be 100% sure of that. Well, I'm not 100% sure of anything in the world. I'm not 100% well, sure I, I, that no, the universe given, is there. No, given, no, 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 come on. Given your presupposition as a radical right. physicalist to consciousness, that's what but that's the gift. Yeah, I see no. The, I think the way I'm happy to say it is, I see nothing special about an organic human being that could not be duplicated to right. arbitrary. Or, or if, if there were something, then you could just duplicate it in an organic yeah. human. You could create a human and being. And we all know there are thought experiments. So we we do believe most people believe that I could take out one neuron from my okay. brain. Okay, all right, no, we've been through it that. with an electronic right, thing, right, and right. then I'm still just as conscious. Right, right. And what happens when I take out two? Mm -hmm. And right. To me, that's not even an issue. Like, yeah, sure, just as conscious all the way down. Okay, so you go all the way down and you place a hundred billion yeah. and one neurons, and and you and you will. And since we, in the thought experiment, perfectly right. re reproduced every neuron, every connection, every reaction, etc., that you will have noticed no difference during right. that, the whole that's process. Correct. Okay, yes. so let me take that one step further. That every time that I put that neuron in, and we both agreed it was a perfect replication, I made two of them, and I put one over here. Yeah, and then I made another, and when I got to the hundred billion, and you you haven't felt any difference. Right, I, ha I have a hundred billion of another another one, another yeah. uh, uh, Sean right here. That's right. And That's... so so now what? Well, Where's the consciousness? Where's the first person? There's two conscious things. There's two conscious things. Yeah. But that's not your consciousness here. No, well, that, no. If, if I'm the one here, well, then that's well, another well, one. What do you mean? <laughs> so then, then, it's just like the branching of the wave function of the universe. There's now two copies of me that go their own ways. But, but, but you have no awareness of this one. That one has its own awareness. I have my own awareness, right? right? And you have no, it, it's not like you have a shared consciousness. No, certainly not. Right. You don't, you don't have a fractional consciousness. Right. So, so the, 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 this, this is going in. So this is like your twin. Yeah, exactly. So that's not you. No, that's a, that's a copy. So then how? There's two copies. Okay, now. so then, but I just made a perfect, uh, this is 100% the same as what you have. Right, but this is a philosophical, this no, is a myriological so. question. Uh, this is the ship of Theseus, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think, I you're think the ship. Is. If I didn't have the second one, you'd be the ship of Theseus. Right, but the point is that if you just, if, if you want to sort of really get down to what the identity is, at every moment of time, there's a different thing. Right? There's a different configuration of stuff. There's this configuration of stuff at this moment of time, this configuration <clears> of stuff at this moment of time. If you're reifying the idea that there is some unified flow of conscious experience through time, I'm going to deny that. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not at that point. I'm just, I'm just at the skeptical position of, 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 of following what follows from your uh, analysis that yeah, consciousness. I have no trouble believing there's these two separate conscious but what creatures is that, now. But, but if that's not, if that second one is not you, what is the difference? Because at, at, at T0, zero, at T0, from a physical point of view, we, we would both agree they are exactly the same. Right. They're, they're just in two different places. That's right, yes. Okay. And yeah. so. But and it's the question which one is you is just meaningless. There's just two of them. And it, it becomes meaningful. If 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 we if we take the original, which was you, with all your neurons replaced, and uh, and and burn it, 
Well, there's two people, there's two conscious creatures. If you want to start burning them, then, you know, <laughs> by ordinary moral standards, that'd be a bad thing to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, but it, just like it, having a duplicator machine. But, yeah, so you have, but right, you have a duplicator machine, but but it, it, the you that you that had didn't experience any difference during the the, uh, the the switching process with neurons, you haven't experienced anything that, and you may not even be aware of this other thing that I've created on the side because I didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you're destroyed, your individual first person experience will go out of existence because you have this other one here. Yeah. Right. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, they will have identical experiences, but they, yes. they, they will have they, 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 memories, experiences, yeah. but they won't have your first person. You won't. If, if, no, they'll if have everything that I had by construction. Right, but there there would be two of them. And there's then two of we, them. You destroy one, then there's one of them. Right, and they will right, go their but, own future ways. Right, but but in terms of your internal sense of this individual, if you didn't know that this existed, and and you were made to not exist, burning or something else, you would go out of existence. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> so if that's true, then you, then that personal one, uh, uh, first person experience cannot be uploaded. No, that has a per first person Th that experience that is the same as mine. But it's like an identical twin in the same as it's not. It's it, much better than identical twin. It's yeah, really yeah, identical. Yes, that's right. But it, it doesn't have your first person because I think you are attaching some metaphysical continuity to this experience, some some uniqueness to it. At every moment of time, there is a set of things that are having conscious experiences. You've described an elaborate way to take one of those and make two of them. And both of them can persist or not persist, talk to each other, never talk. Like all Correct. of those are possible oh, oh, and none yeah. of that gives, in my mind, any special weirdness to the physicality of consciousness. Uh, we're, not, we're not at that stage yet. I'm just saying that it, it, you, you, if we, if you are unable to, then to be uploaded with your first person experience, because you can be uploaded, but you would be the same as this other entity over here, which would be a, set, a, a very close identical twin with all your memories, but it wouldn't have your first person experience. And so I don't think you can say these statements you're saying without using the word you. And I think that's the problem. There is a person here who has conscious experiences. You're creating right, a way right, of right. making a, an identical twin of them. There right. are now two people with conscious experiences. Right. They are both going to go on and, and do right. whatever they do. Uh, is there any objection to that? No. I mean, I think that the... Is there a difference? Let me ask it this way. Is there a difference between uploading you, and now you're uploaded, and I'm not sure whether we destroy the original we don't, and having this duplicate here. It sounds like the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing, right. It's the same thing. So um, if, if you would be uploaded, uh, do you feel, would that give you a virtual immortality when I'm using the word you in terms of your first person experience, or would you feel like it's a, a very close relative that will go on like my child, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's more than a child? Uh, I, I I, I really think that you are attaching some uh, magical reality to you-ness or me-ness. Like, me now is not the same as me a day from now, right? right? So, But you have the internal co coherence. You have the internal coherence. They're related. This, They're certainly very related, just as I would be to this uploaded thing. But there's so, so two you, consciousnesses. So, wait, so, there's so you, the uploaded one, and then there's the physical so one. So your argument is is that uh, 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 Sean Carroll now and Sean Carroll tomorrow morning is the same relationship as Sean Carroll here and Sean Carroll that would be uploaded. It's very similar, obviously. It's not exactly identical mm -hmm. because of the terms of the thought experiment, but sure. it's essentially the same, yes. Okay, so that, that, would, um, that would mean that, in your mind, consciousness is, uh, is certainly not an important fact in the universe. It's a, a contingent accident of what, what happened here at some point. Depends what you mean by important. It's very important to me. It's as important <laughs> as cats and baseballs and so forth, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a very useful way to think about what happens in our world.